and welcome back to another episode of Miafk Origins and we're here at Eden. This is episode 11. So between episodes I've done a bit of stuff. On this side of the bridge instead of these uh, purple industrial things I added these rocks with clay underneath. I feel like that adds a bit more structure to the river having the clay actually connected to something and it goes all the way out to the river I feel like it's good to have it dispersed at the end here and still have maybe a clay patch or something. But Eli has been doing stuff. I'm sure you can see all the terracotta and stone around. So the stone are the pathways. Uh, the terracotta are like uh, main townhouses. I'm actually going to go into F1 mode for this. The terracotta are like houses. So as you can see, the red terracotta is going to be a big one over there. But the yellow ones are small ones. There's going to be a lot more. We just don't want to wrap ten of terracotta. Blue terracotta over there is the river. So the river kind of splits off, I think, somewhere. I'm not really sure. Uh, but he's also made, I don't know if I showed this in the last episode or not, he's also made a massive cliff over here too, and it's making, it, it's making my unit look a bit underwhelming, but that's fine, you know, it's it's great having a base mate at least. Uh, and, he's made, so he's making some biodomes over here, uh, because his base um, went went bye-bye, um, Harry made it go bye-bye. Uh, but yeah, uh, his base went bye-bye, so he's making like small biodomes, kind of like the vision I had for Eden at the beginning, which I don't know if I'm going to be able to get done. I started introducing some paths here, um, just some casual pathways that's going to connect the houses and things. I don't really like that turning that, I'm going to expand it a bit, uh, and then I've added this um, quite messy path down the back of uh, the cliff face, because you know, it's war, and it's like a when you take your dog for a walk, and got my chest monster but I'm going to go sleep but with this I feel like you know there's the plans there we might as well get started on it so I don't know if I'm going to do this as a time lapse or not oh that is a skeleton but with this I'm probably going to work on the paths here maybe even start adding the townhouses in this episode but definitely try and get some proper pathage done uh, and, and I feel like that would be like a good way to start because you've got to start somewhere uh, there's also going to be a few houses around here it's not just going to look empty like this so let's get some paths down <laughs> That, ladies and gentlemen, is what I call a time lapse. Um, a time lapse that took a month. Well, it didn't all take a month, but I have not been playing very much. Uh, this video has been spread out over a while, but um, many things have happened. So these paths, I don't think the time lapse actually showed the texture of them, but it's basically just the same as up there on the mountains. Uh, it's lovely. I let Jay build his house here, uh, the house that got blown up. So um, I've let everyone build in Eden. I thought it'd be cool. Um, uh, I have built that house which as you can see is not the same as in the time lapse so we go up here you can see the house that was in the time lapse and a tower attached to it so I built the tower I forgot to time lapse it slash didn't time lapse it uh, but it's basically just like a, a yellowy gradient and I really like the house if you look around it's real spacious you've got this place up here too it is above hello fern that's not weird at all it's above the old villager place which means that if I'm just gonna put that back. Which means that if I go down here, none of this has really gone to plan, but if I go down here, this is where I moved the villagers to, um, like a while back. But this will be like the villager house. It's, it's like, it has really taken me a while, and guess what? The back's not done. The top of this is also isn't done. Um, but it, it's nice. I do like it, and I like how the paths have turned out. Now, in other news, there's a wandering trader here. Let's see what you have to offer. Probably nothing good. And all the mini blocks, nothing really good mini block wise. I would kill you instantly, but green dye, I cannot be bothered to go get cactuses, so I'm going to get some emeralds out. And I will take those. But more things have happened. Basically, like, with the revolution and everything, many things got blown up. We all know that. Um, I think one of the things was indeed my mob farm, which is where I obviously got all my mob loot and gunpowder, uh, which meant that since it stopped working, I had no rockets. 
So I was like barely flying around, like ever. So <laughs> I fixed the mob farm. I'm no longer using Okami's. Oh, sorry. I'm no longer using Okami's auto sorter because it just kind of broke, and I have no idea how to fix redstone. Um, my FPS drops massively around here, by the way. But I fixed the redstone. I <laughs> it's it used to be all one block, but you can see loads of. If you go to each layer, you can see different types of wood and everything um, paired in with it now because uh, I had to fix it somehow. These, however, are where the mob loot comes now, and I can finally get gunpowder again. And I made one layer. If you don't know how mob spawning works, they, it, in darkness they spawn, so we've got this massive uh, pillar above. And most mobs need a two two hides a bit, um, to spawn, but creepers only need like one and a half. So if you put trapdoors here, I'm actually just going to turn my brightness on. There we go. If you put trapdoors on the top, this allows like one and a bit blocks that mobs can spawn on, which only allows for creepers and spiders to spawn. So we've got one layer optimized for creeper spawning, which means our gunpowder rates are pretty good. There is more, however. Oh, also, thank you, Jay. Jay keeps fixing like loads of things that are not fixed. So thanks, because he also fixed this. As I record this, it is the 11th of December, which means the festivities have indeed begun here on Mief. We've got a snowy area with candy canes and a village shop and a cottage in the woods over there. And uh, there's actually an ice path surrounding the whole of spawn. And the whole of spawn is ice, uh, not ice, um, snow. So if you have a boat, which I do, um, but even if you don't have a boat, you can come and say this shop, it's Monkey's Boat Shop. Uh, that I should probably... There. How did that open? Oh, I op oh, I literally just forgot you could use right click to open trapdoors. But yeah, you can come get a boat from there and then go around the whole ice course and we'll have some competitions and stuff. But there's a Christmas tree with presents. I don't think any of them are, um, have got anything in yet. I'm going to not have a bed. This is my Christmas present and I've got... That's self-advertising, monkey. I would normally support that, but not on my videos. Um, up here, Santa's sleigh. And we have Secret Santa. So there will be rules and tips in here. Uh, but there are names in here, like Monkey Steve, Leon, uh, Hazel J. I'm going to, um, like, right now, uh, actually... Because there's one that says you choose, because I couldn't really be bothered to put all the members in. Well... Ignore I said that, that's a bit of rude. But I'm just going to put all the other members' names in so they can be picked for Secret Santa. So, these are the most active people. Steve, uh, Monkey, me, Jay, Hazel, Okami, although he doesn't really play, Eli, Lantic, and Martin. Lantic is an American person, by the way. I don't think he's ever been on video. Oh, wait, no. Okay, I'm not going to draw a name now. I'm going to draw one off camera, and once they've got their present, then, uh, then I can show it on camera, I guess. But Spawn's looking very nice in... Indeed. Oh, wait. You saw nothing. The end is over here, and this leads to the stronghold. And the stronghold has been redone by Hazel and Monkey and Partially J. That's very cool. You've got these things over here. You've got trees, you've got lava. But um, the end is not decorated at all, not on this side. So that's basically all I'm going to show. Um, I'm going to do some things. I'm going to put lights underneath. Oh my lord, that's stuff. Wait, hold on. I I assume the viewer, you guys can't barely see anything, but look how nice. Mood lighting, baby. But I think the last thing I'm going to do in this episode is just finish off the roof um, for this. Maybe do an interior, but definitely finish off the roof. And then, yeah, that'll be it. So, I'm going to go do that. I've finished the house. The exterior, at least. I did a roof... And I, I struggled a bit with it. I was going to do like a triangle design, but I ended up just doing uh, like this, which is kind of suitable for the rest of the thing. I've got the windows in. I did the back, sort of. It's done to an extent. And I've started working on the interior. If we go inside here, you can see we've got some stairs. You can see we've got some stairs, and if you go upstairs, you've got a bedroom, uh, which I, you know, I'm going to work on this place, but... If we go back downstairs and then come through here, we get land to the tower. And there's loads of these, um, like, secret places around where I could put, I don't know, stuff. Like, there's a good bit here. Maybe if we're doing a hide-and-seek or something ever. But if you come up here, you get this. This is obviously going to be fixed because it looks terrible. But you come up here, 
it's 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 a basic interior. An Enderman stole my sand block, uh, but it's a basic interior, and I I am pretty pleased with it. You can also shut this up, and and it looks pretty cool. So, yeah, the house is done. Doesn't it look gorgeous? I'm really proud of it. To be fair, I'm proud of it. Um, I'm gonna do more stuff off camera and stuff like the interior and the outside. Just finish it off. But that's basically it. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching this episode of Miafk Origins. This was episode 11, and I will see you in the next episode for episode 12. I hope you have a lovely day, and goodbye. <laughs>